COVID-19 has not affected us in terms of our health. We are all well, none of us have contracted it. Um, the big changes for us are at home and socially. Um, before lockdown started, the girls were at school and nursery. They had rainbows, they had gymnastics, they had swimming, they had dancing, we went to the football, they went to church and we lived, it was quite full on. With Fridays and Thursdays were our only kind of days off. Um, now they're at home with me all the time. Um, we're doing a bit of schooling at home. They're doing their dance classes online and they are doing the uh, uh, catch Zoom. I nearly said Sunday school. <laughs> they're doing the catch Zoom every couple of weeks. So that's been a big adjustment. It's quite easy to moan about it and how they're always here, they're always in my face. But actually, in a lot of ways, it's really quite nice. It's a lot of time together that we wouldn't have had normally. Sometimes you get to the end of the week and you feel as if all you'd done was drive them places, whereas now we're sitting down, we're doing schoolwork, we're doing stories, we're doing board games, we're doing Play-Doh, we're doing painting, we're doing baking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... It's different, but it's not all bad. Just now I'm feeling okay. Um, initially, I was quite anxious. I didn't like not knowing what was happening, but once we went into lockdown and the schools closed, then that was easier to handle because we knew what we had to do and we just had to get on with it. Now, I think it's just, we're just missing the outside world. Um, We've always been ones for going places, doing things, whether it's just the Transport Museum on a Sunday afternoon. We're not really ones for weekends kicking about the house, so this is a change for us. And ever since Iona got diagnosed, we like to do as much as we can, see as much as we can, teach them as much as we can out and about. And obviously none of that can happen, so that's quite frustrating. And it's also quite frustrating not knowing when life will return to proper normality. Um, social distancing is tough on the kids and it's they want to hug their granny and their granny and um yeah but it's fine we'll be fine it's just hunker down and, and deal with it until it passes in terms of my faith um i found that while we've been in lockdown um church has become not just a sunday thing um i joined the prayer chain so there's daily emails from Anne with um, lessons and prayers and sort of stories and Bible readings which I wasn't getting before. Um, I've been working on the church Facebook page so I've been more inclined to go and look at other church Facebooks and um, perhaps borrow the odd idea but in doing that you're seeing what else is going on and different approaches to worship which is nice. Um, because I've been at home when things like when the prayer chain email comes in I'm more likely to go and look up a reading um, and that's given me sort of a bit more experience of reading the Bible than I would usually have but all these things are great but we do very much miss our church family and just catching up with people face to face and yeah.